us look at raga in the context of the textual tradition, what the textual tradition itself has to say of raga. Now, the Brihad Deshi is, a, is an 8th century text and um, perhaps the earliest definition of raga is found in this text. There are many verses in this text which talk explicitly of raga. One of them is this, Ranjana Jayate Rago Vyutpatti Samudahritaha Ityevam Raga Shabdasya Vyutpatti Rabhidhiyati Raga Ranjanat Jayate Ragu Ranjana is to color. So Raga is born from the act of coloring, of coloring the mind actually, of bringing color into the minds of the listener, which is essentially means to, to suffuse it with color or with pleasure. So Raga is born from the act of coloring or delighting. This is this has been said to be its etymology, and this is therefore spoken of as the etymology of the word raga. And there is this other very very oft quoted, very famous verse: "Yoyam dhwani visheshastu swara varna vibhushita ranjako jana chitta nam raga fkatito mudhehi." that which is a special dhwani, dhwani vishesha and is bedecked, it is decorated with swara and varna and is and delights the minds of people, ranjako jana chittana that is said to be raga. This is as I said from Purhadeshi, an 8th century text. Now, it seems that uh, in the earlier uh, texts, the, con the concept of raga uh, is not quite what it is today, which for us it is an abstract entity. Raga exists as a possibility of melodic creation, whereas possibly in the earlier texts, raga referred to a particular melodic entity itself. Today, of course, raga is uh, many people speak of it, S.K. Saxena, of, uh, an important writer and thinker of the 20th century. He has um, suggested that we could, we could view raga as a melodic matrix. It is a matrix and any, any composition or any, any other improvisation of the raga partakes of that matrix in the sense that is also the substance of that music. Others have suggested that we can think of it as a, we can think of raga as a melodic cloud, a cloud from which uh, possibly melodies would rain. There is this interesting and fairly lucid um, description of raga by Deepak Raja, another important writer. Of, uh, on music and it reads like this, even a casual listener of classical music is aware that the word raga is used to describe the melodic facet of a piece of music. He also knows that a raga is not a pre-composed melody. The same raga performed on different occasions can sound entirely different while yet retaining a strong basis in familiarity. He also knows that there are hundreds, perhaps thousands of ragas in circulation and that experienced listeners can distinguish one raga from others. From this, most listeners can infer that a raga is broadly a melodic structure, tight enough to remain distinct and identifiable and yet loose enough to form the basis for considerable individual freedom. <laughs>